Today, we're diving deep into the mysteries of the past, exploring the enigmatic world of mummies. But what sets these mummies apart from the rest? Why do they still hold an eerie semblance of life? Join us as we unravel the secrets behind these astonishing specimens. Trust me, you won't believe your eyes. Number 20. Ancient Lady Day Meet Ancient Lady Day, an aristocrat from China's Han Dynasty. She's considered one of the best preserved mummies ever. Despite over 2,000 years passing, much of her body remains intact. Even her veins still show traces of red blood. What made her preservation so remarkable? When archaeologists found her, her body was submerged in a mysterious liquid in her coffin. This liquid helped maintain her skin and prevented her bones from becoming rigid. While we don't know the exact composition of the liquid, it clearly worked. Further examination revealed additional preservation methods performed over time. Number 19. Eva Perrin. Eva Perrin's tale is a roller coaster of unexpected twists and turns, all grounded in truth. She wasn't a figure from ancient history, but rather the beloved wife of an Argentine leader who passed away in 1952. The entire nation mourned her loss, a testament to her immense popularity. Due to her status, she was embalmed, a process mastered by an Argentine doctor renowned for preserving bodies in a lifelike state, earning the moniker the art of death. Unlike traditional burials, Eva's embalmed body wasn't interred, but instead put on public display, allowing the people to remain close to their former queen. However, a coup attempted to overthrow her husband, leading to her body being sent to Italy, where it stayed for 16 tumultuous years. During this time, the caretaker, driven mad by the eerily lifelike preservation, committed disturbing acts with her body. Ultimately, Eva's husband reclaimed her remains and brought them to Spain, where he was in exile. Eventually, her body found its way back to her family crypt in Argentina. This saga proves that even in death, one can embark on unexpected adventures. Number 18. Vladimir Lenin's Embalmed Body Vladimir Lenin, one of the key figures in the Russian push towards communism, sought to uplift the common people and prevent their oppression by the wealthy elite. Although he never intended for communism to reach the extremes it did under Joseph Stalin, Lenin's legacy remains deeply revered in Russia. When Lenin passed away in 1924, his body was unexpectedly preserved, initially through temporary means. Despite the freezing temperatures, people from across the nation flocked to see him, drawn by his ideals and the significance he held for them. Eventually, his body was embalmed to ensure its long-lasting preservation. To maintain Lenin's well-preserved appearance, Russia established the Lenin Lab, dedicated to the meticulous upkeep of his body. A team of experts regularly inspects and maintains his remains, ensuring they remain pristine. This ongoing preservation effort comes with a hefty price tag, with Russia investing millions to uphold this symbol of their history. The longevity of this preservation endeavor seems indefinite, as long as Russia remains committed to the task. Number 17. John Torrington's Frozen Remains In certain frozen regions of the world, like Tall Mountains or the Arctic and Antarctica, a natural form of mummification can occur. This happened to John Torrington, a Royal Navy stoker who was part of the 1845 Franklin expedition to explore uncharted territories, including what is now Nunavut, Canada, and to find the Northwest Passage while conducting scientific observations. Torrington was the first casualty of the expedition. Although he was later buried, an exhumation of his body revealed something remarkable. Despite not undergoing traditional preservation methods, his body remained incredibly well-preserved, considered one of the best-preserved bodies globally. Scientists were astounded by how the cold had kept his body intact and looking so well. The freezing temperatures effectively preserved his body, much like how meat can last in a freezer. This natural process underscores the incredible preservation power of extreme cold environments. Number 16. Rosalia Lombardo In 1920, Rosalia Lombardo passed away from pneumonia, leaving her father utterly devastated. 
Determined to preserve her appearance even in death, he enlisted the expertise of an embalmer named Alfredo, renowned for his skill in the craft. Using a blend of chemicals including formalin, zinc salts, alcohol, salicylic acid, and others, Alfredo achieved an extraordinary feat. Rosalia's body was so impeccably preserved that she earned the nickname Sleeping Beauty. Despite the eerie connotations of this title, given her deceased state, Photographs from her glass tomb in the 1980s and 2000s reveal that she retained her youthful appearance. Decay only became apparent when she had to be relocated and transferred to a different sealed container. Number 15. Latoncella Here's another story about a child's death to discuss, but this one is different. It's about La Doncella, one of three children sacrificed in ancient South America to please the gods. In those times, such sacrifices were common, but what sets La Doncella apart is the remarkable preservation of her mummified body, much like certain frozen corpses. La Doncella, along with other children, was taken up to the Andes Mountains and sealed within a cave. The cold and airtight conditions preserved them remarkably well. When they were discovered many years later, they looked almost alive. Without certain natural elements, a body won't decay, and this is another example of that. Studying these lifelike mummies provided insights into La Doncella's life. Surprisingly, she had lived a royal life before her sacrifice to the sun god. However, such status meant little when they were actually being sacrificed. We should all be grateful that such practices are not as common today. Number 14. The Wet Mummy when we think of mummies, we often imagine them resting peacefully in tombs or grand pyramids. However, in 2011, workers in China stumbled upon an unexpected find, the wet mummy. While excavating a road in a province, they uncovered a waterlogged sarcophagus nestled within a tomb. This tomb had been untouched for centuries, holding layers of artifacts and mysteries within. As archaeologists carefully opened the main coffin, they were met with a remarkable sight. Layers of silk and linen, soaked in a mysterious bran liquid, enveloped the astonishingly well-preserved remains of a woman. Her body, hair, skin, clothing, and jewelry were remarkably intact. Though pinpointing the exact age of the tomb and the woman proved challenging, evidence suggested she hailed from the Ming Dynasty potentially making her around 700 years old. Experts theorized several factors contributed to the woman's remarkable preservation. Among them was another enigmatic liquid found within the tomb, along with the unique environmental conditions. Moreover, the discovery hinted at the possibility of more hidden tomes awaiting discovery in the surrounding area. Number 13. The Mummies of Kilikitsu Greenland might not be the first place that comes to mind for many due to its extreme northern location and perpetually cold climate. However, in 1972, an intriguing discovery was made that captured attention. Hidden within a tomb were eight remarkably preserved Eskimo mummies. Despite the initial appearance suggesting recent burials, these individuals had actually been preserved over centuries by the natural cold. Upon their discovery, the mummies revealed astonishing details. The skin, fingernails, hair, and even eyebrows of six adults and two young Inuits were remarkably intact. This preservation was attributed to the harsh weather conditions of the region. Surprisingly, scientists were able to examine the mummies' organs, which remained intact, offering valuable insights into their physiology. Additionally, visible tattoos on their skin provided further clues about their lives. Interestingly, these mummies were not intentionally mummified. They were simply farmers who had passed away and were laid to rest. Yet, through the ages, the climate of Greenland unwittingly preserved them. Now, these ancient individuals offer a unique window into the past, allowing us to study and learn from them for years to come. Number 12. The Beauty of Xayo In 2003, archaeologists were excavating a graveyard when they stumbled upon a cache of mummies, one of which would later be dubbed the Beauty of Xayo. She earned this title due to her remarkable preservation. 
Despite being buried around 3,000, 800 years ago, she appeared remarkably well-preserved with flush skin, vibrant red hair, and even intact clothing and eyelashes. What added to the intrigue was the discovery of clumps on her chest during further examination. Initially unrecognized, but later identified as cheese, it seems someone had provided her with cheese for sustenance in the afterlife. The beauty of Xiao and the other mummies continue to be subjects of ongoing research, showcasing the remarkable mummification techniques employed by ancient Chinese civilizations. Number 11. Dashi Dorjo Itigilov Have you ever seen The Princess Bride? If you have, do you remember that scene where a character says, he's not dead, he's only half dead? Well, meet Dashi Dorjo Itigilov, a Buddhist monk who, according to his fellow monks, isn't truly dead, despite a peeping so. So, what's the story? He was a monk with many students, and he foretold his own death to them. They were instructed to wait for 30 years before retrieving his body. True to his word, he passed away while in deep prayer, and his body was mummified, as confirmed by science. When his body was brought out as planned, 30 years later, its preservation was so remarkable that people were baffled. Even his fellow Buddhist monks saw it as evidence that he wasn't dead, but rather in a profound state of meditation, destined to attain the state of a true Buddha. Number 10. Saint Zita Saint Zita's story may surprise you. Despite being mummified, she wasn't a royal or a noble. Hailing from Italy, she served as a humble housekeeper. Known for her kindness and cheerfulness, she excelled in her role and even rose to become the head housekeeper for the family she served. Despite her lowly status, she was eventually canonized as a saint. Today, Saint Zita is revered as the patron saint of domestic servants and is attributed to over a hundred miracles. Her body, preserved and mummified, can still be seen today, even though she lived over 700 years ago. This story reminds us that miracles can come from unexpected places and people. Number 9. Saint Bernadette Saint Bernadette, the woman who later became known as such, lived a markedly different life compared to what was previously described. She faced ongoing health challenges from the start, eventually passing away at the age of 35. Unlike others who underwent special preservation procedures, she was simply laid to rest in a coffin. However, when her body was later exhumed, her face had turned a pale white and her hands were remarkably well-preserved, deemed a miraculous occurrence. Consequently, she was eventually mummified and is now publicly displayed. It's a testament to the unexpected sources from which great wonders can arise. Number 8. St. Virginia Centurion Bercelli. Next in line is St. Virginia. Unlike the other saintly women I discussed, she was born into a family of influence. However, this privilege didn't shield her from an arranged marriage forced upon her by her father. But the marriage bore two children, it ultimately dissolved. Refusing to succumb to another arranged union forced by her father, she chose a life of celibacy and dedicated herself to charitable acts, particularly aiding the poor and sick. In essence, she embodied goodness. She persisted in her benevolent deeds until her passing at the age of 64. Eventually, she was canonized as a saint. Much like her counterparts, she rests in a glass coffin, her body remarkably preserved to this day. Number 7. Elnor McCurdy While the last three individuals were esteemed for their virtue and worthiness, Elnor McCurdy did not share the same commendable traits. He was involved in a peculiar sequence of events after his demise. McCurdy was a robber who, along with his gang, attempted to rob a train. However, their efforts were in vain as they discovered there was nothing valuable on board. Upon this realization, they fled, leaving McCurdy to hide in a barn, where he met his demise from a sheriff's bullet. One might assume this concluded his tale, but it did not. During those times, unclaimed bodies were often embalmed to preserve them in case of future identification. McCurdy's body was exceptionally well-preserved, leading to a macabre turn of events. He became a spectacle, 
touring from one place to another as individuals exploited his preserved form for profit over several decades. Eventually, his true nature as a deceased person was forgotten, until his body was stumbled upon during the filming of an episode of The Six Million Dollar Man. Hiding from the rafters, he was discovered and finally laid to rest, encased in concrete to prevent further desecration of his remains. Number 6. Rameses the Great Rameses the Great, also known as Ramses II, stands as one of ancient Egypt's most remarkable pharaohs. What truly set him apart is his extraordinary longevity. In an era where pharaohs often perished in their youth, Rameses defied the odds by living until the age of 91. This exceptional lifespan contributed significantly to his immense influence over Egypt. Being a pharaoh, Rameses received the customary treatment in mummification, ensuring his preservation for the ages. Though not as impeccably preserved as some others, when his tomb was unearthed many years later, Rameses still retained a remarkable degree of integrity. Number 5. The Toland Man Let's talk about the Toland Man. We've explored various ways people can be preserved, like him being found in excellent condition. But here's something unexpected. He was discovered in a bog in Denmark. It might seem ordinary, but this bog held secrets. Bodies were found there, shocking many. The Tolland man, for instance, seemed to have been choked and left in the bog. Despite over two millennia passing, he looked remarkably human when found again, with only minor differences in color and appearance. It's a reminder that bogs can preserve things surprisingly well. Just to be clear, I'm definitely not suggesting anyone use a bog for such purposes. Number 4. The Church and Man One of the most intriguing enigmas in our world remains the story of the Church and Man, a mystery shrouded in questions yet to be fully answered. It revolves around the puzzle of how different human populations past encountered each other and the timeline of these encounters. A key figure in this enigma is the Churchin Man, a Caucasian individual discovered buried in China. Remarkably, his body was found perfectly preserved, adding another layer to the mystery. His European origins were inferred from the clothing he wore, but who was he exactly? Why was he accorded such a prestigious burial in China? And what significance does this hold for our understanding of history as we know it? These questions continue to intrigue and challenge our understanding of human civilization and its interconnected past. Number 3. Otzi the Iceman Otzi the Iceman, among the most famous mummies discovered, was found by chance in 1991 by a couple hiking in the Alps. Initially mistaken for a contemporary hiker lost in the snow, closer inspection revealed his ancient origins, dating back approximately 5,000 years. Shockingly, examination uncovered evidence of foul play, as he had been fatally wounded by an arrow. Since then, scientists have been closely examining his remains to uncover insights into his life and the circumstances surrounding his demise. Number 2 the Yukot Princess. In Siberia, an astonishing find has been unearthed. A remarkably well-preserved mummy known as the Yukot Princess. Given Siberia's reputation as one of the coldest and most unforgiving regions on Earth, the discovery might not come as a surprise to many. This ancient princess belonged to a culture that flourished between the 6th and 2nd centuries BC in the Siberian steppe. Upon viewing images of the princess, one might question the level of preservation, but it's essential to note that any deterioration was not the fault of the mummy itself. Rather, it was a result of how the excavation team handled her, causing damage during the moving process. Number 1. Saltman of Iron The Saltman of Iron are a fascinating example of preservation. These miners met a tragic fate when their mine collapsed, burying them underground. However, the high salt content in the mine worked wonders in preserving their bodies. When the bodies were eventually discovered, they were remarkably well preserved. This story highlights the effectiveness of salt in preserving organic matter, similar to how it preserves meat. It's incredible to think about the various methods that can lead to good mummification. Were you surprised by the condition of these mummies? 
Do you think some preservation methods are better than others? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to explore other interesting topics on the screen. See you next time.